Hello, this is version 2.7 of my print pack. This version contains a few bug fixes, as well as minor improvements and two new notes. The first one is the new print node that offers simplified printing. So instead of having different nodes for different tasks, this is a little bit of an all-in-one node. So for example, if you have just scalar values to print, you simply point them at the group values here, which will unfold automatically, and then you can connect them, connect these scalar values to the plugs in here. And you see that in my 3D view, I get a list of these values. And of course, you can name, give them names and change the description here. And then when you have some arrays, you can plug them down here in the arrays section. There's also four plugs for arrays, which will then print a table for these arrays. The scalar values are printed using a, a print static node inside this print compound here, and the arrays are printed using the print table node. But as I said, it's much easier. Also, most of the settings for these nodes are hidden here. There are only very few settings for the um, print static as well as for the print table node. Even the translation settings are much simplified here. One of the improvements in the new version 2.5 is that the print static can now also print smaller arrays. This would look like this when you print, when you plug in an array into one of these slots for scalar values, then the array will be printed using this comma separated format. And of course, if it gets too long, it will cut, be cut off after 80 characters here. But for small arrays, this is a very handy feature to be able to print an array into one line and not have to print a whole table. The second node that I want to talk about is called the print string. This print string is a node that is very helpful when you want to re make reports out of a loop. So inside of for each, for example, the only way to print something, since you can't use the print node in these loops, the only way to print something is to simply say, hey, I'm going to output the scalar values from within my loop. And then outside it would be a simple array and then I can use my print node to say, hey, I want to see what this array is like and print, simply print it as a table like so. And you see this is a very fast workflow, super nice. So this is the inside of my loop here. So that is kind of a report that I can make from within this loop. So let's cut this and say you have something more complex that you want to print out here from within the for each node. So if it's more than just these, these values here, what you can do is to use a print string node. This print string node is made up of four, four sections of these value description pairs where you say, hey, I have a value here. So let's include the current index, for example. So I'm plugging in the current index and then all the values I want to monitor, like so. And once that's done, I output that string as an array. And of course, I can also, you know, print out a string by using in the value section of the print node, there's an input strings array. It's a fan import so that you can plug in strings as many as you like, and they will be printed as a list. And here you have a similar thing. So the first value here is the index of my, of my for each node. And the second value would be this multiplication. The third one is this modular value, etc., And the fourth one is the Boolean value here. So this is nice already. Another feature that you can use with this print string method here is to say, instead of separating all these values with just a comma, I could use a tabulator. Unfortunately, the tabulator is not working with, with the simple print node because the simple print node does not use the rich text. So in this case, you would start and use a print static node because the print static node by default uses rich text. And here you see with the tabulator, you have a, a simply a different image um, of this. Maybe the tab size needs to be a little bit larger so that you get something like a table out of your, um, of your loop. 
As I said, this print string method is for cases where you have it more complex, more complicated cases of um, having to make a report. This one will also, the print string will also accept little arrays as an inline, you know, in, in one line list of values so that this can become quite long. But it's super helpful, you know, to be able to peek inside of these loops where even the watch points are pretty much useless. Okay, so this is version 2.7 of my print pack.